I'm going to say, and I want you to put them together and tell me what word they make. So if I say b e, that would be the word b. Okay, so I'll tell you the sounds and you see if you can guess what word they make. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, here's the first one. Mm, e. M. What does that make? Mm, e. M. M, it does start with an M, you're right. Yeah. And it what makes word? the word me. Me, mm, e. e is me. F. How about this one? I'll say words. the sounds and you guess the word, okay? Bed. Bed? Yes, bed. Good job. Mm-hmm. Here's another one. Hat. Hat? That's right. That first sound that is kind of hard to hear on here, but you did it. Here's another one. Shop. Up? Almost. It starts like this. Shh. Up. Is it shop? Not sure. Is it's it shop. You're right. Shop. Shop. Yeah. Shop. Now this one's a little bit longer. It's like this. Mmm. Us. Yes, I'll say that one again. Mm, us. <laughs> Not sure. That's okay. We'll do another one. This one's even longer, but it's the last one of these. It goes like this. It has five sounds. Plant. Plant? Yes, you got the hardest one. Good job. Way to go. Awesome. Now, if I have a word, I have some words I need your help with. So I'll say the word, and I want you to break up the sounds like I just did. So if I say the word cat, you'll go like this. K -at, and you'll sound the sounds that you hear, okay? Yeah, so I want you to split up every little sound that you hear in the word. So can you do that for the word at? At. That's right, two sounds, at. Good job, Maness. How about this one? Can you do the word up? up. Yep, two sounds, up. How many sounds are in this word? Can you split it up? Name. N name. Good job, good job. You got some of them there, yeah? What about ship? Ship. Yeah, how many sounds did you hear in that one? I think I hear it a five. Do it again if you want. Mm -hmm. right, do it on your fingers. Go like this. Shh. How many? Ship. I, I think you did three. You. It went like this. Shh. If. I think you did three the first time you broke it up. Can you do this one for me? Sock. Sock. Do that again. Sock. You can't do your finger. Sock. Okay. All right. And what about this one? Chin. Chin. Thank you, my mask. Good job. Awesome. Well, okay, now the next thing we're going to do is kind of silly. We're going to see what happens to words when we take away the first sound. So if I say the word bat, but I take away the b sound, then it's just at. It's not a b at anymore. It's just at. So what would happen if we had the word mop, m off? And we take away that mmm sound. Up. Oh, you are so smart. Good job. Way to go. These are tricky. And what if we had the word pig, p egg, and we take away the p 
sound? Big. Big. Oh, that, what would it be? Pig. <laughs> that would be if we put a different sound on. Okay. Let's do this one. Let's do the word sun. Un. And we take away the snake sound. Un. Yes, good job. It would just be un. And what if we had the word neck, but we take away the mmm. Eck. Great job. What if we had cat, but we take away the k sound? At. Great job. Last one of these. What if we said tape, but we take away the t sound? Tape. Well, that's putting a different one on, but what if we just take that t right away? T ape. Ape. It would just be ape, you're right. Yeah. Mm hmm good job. Um, let me see what else. Now we're gonna take away a sound from the end of the word. So if I said the word, hmm, let me think of one. Oh, I know, if I said the word shine, like if something shines, shine. If I say shine, but I take that n off the end, then it's just shy. Shy? It's, yeah, it would just be shy. It wouldn't be shine. It would just be shy. I, wouldn't it? So it changes it. So tell me, what would happen to the word seat? eat if we take the t off of the end z it would just be c you're right is that what you said was c yeah good girl that's great here's another one the word is bake b a k and we're going to take that k off of the end bake mm -hmm. Yeah, so can you, what if we take the k off of there? Back. That's a good guess, really good guess. Let's do a different one. Some of these are tricky, that's okay. You're doing really, really good, especially doing them on here with me. What if we had the word group, g, er, oop? And we take that off of the end. Gru. It would just be gru. You're right. Like off of minions. Gru. 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 It would be gru instead, instead of group. Gru the bald guy. Gru. <laughs> All right. Here's another one. Can you say the word inch? An inch. Inch. That's right. So it goes inch. And we're going to take the ch off of the end. Then what would be left? Int. What would it be? Int. Int? Is that yeah. what you said? Yeah. All right. Okay. And what if we have this word? Train. T er ain. And we take the Mm, off of the end. Twain. Twain. So it's tr train, and we take the mm away. Twain. Train. Mm. <laughs> Not sure about that one. That one is rude. That is hard. That's okay. Last one of these. You're doing great. What if we had the word rose or er, o's and we take that z away from the end? Row. It would be row. You're right. Good one. Great job. All right. Last thing we're going to do. Okay, so what if we had the word 
man, man, but we change it so it starts with a k sound instead. Then what would it be? Can. Good changing it. That's exactly what it would be. We would switch it. What happens if we took pig and we made it start with a d instead? Dig. Good job. Oh my goodness. Let's change the word sack so it starts with a t sound. It was sack, and we'll make it start with t instead. Tack. Mm -hmm. That's right. We only have three of these left, and we'll be done. What if we had the word well, and we changed it so it started with a sound instead? Well? You betcha. Can you change bed so it starts with er? Red. Oh my goodness, you're so good at these. Last one, Manette, okay? Yeah. Let's change the word shop so it starts with a ch sound instead. Chop? It is chop. Good job. Awesome job. Way to go. Great stuff. Now, let me see. Hmm, I just have one more thing I might get your help with. So can you see this paper? Yeah. Can you see my paper? Yeah. yeah. Which of the, yeah, you see it? So yeah. I have some letters here. Which one of them is different? A. Yeah, the Bs are the same, aren't they? Yeah. And then I have, oh, I don't know if you can see this very well. I can see it. Well, but I, I, can you see it? Yeah, is that the math, is that the jump math book? It's not jump math, but I have a picture of some mm -hmm. fish right here. Can you see the three fish? Yep. Can you tell which one is the medium sized fish? Oh, uh, the one down the big one? The big one right here? No, I said the one the, that- It's upper, is, not down. The, the, it's down. It's it's super small like this. Oh, down here is the medium one? Yeah. Okay. And then I've got, can you see these cookies here? Can yeah. You see all the plates? Yeah. Which one has a few cookies on it? This one? This one or this one? Three? Just a, the three. Uh, yeah, a few cookies. Do you know which one has a few? The, the three. The one with three. Yep, that's what a few means, doesn't it? Three or four. Yep. Now, look at my numbers here. Okay. Manas, which, which number comes before the three? 